All right, so the Toronto Raptors really are Canada's team. The whole country has come together to cheer them on. Joining us now from Halifax is someone who is a pro, I'm going to say it, putting together a great party. And let's talk to him now, organizer Gab LeVere. Good to have you with us this morning. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, thanks for having me. I'm, uh, I'm feeling you might hear it. I've, I've lost my voice since game two. Uh, I'm getting through. You know, today's going to be a 20-hour day, but, but uh, we're just really happy to do it again. <laughs> hey, what's the party plan tonight? Uh, same thing we've been doing every game, you know, just, just creating an atmosphere that, that makes Haligonians happy to be there and, and, you know, welcoming for everyone. All right, so what has it been like organizing these parties? Uh, what's it been like for you? Uh, I mean, it's, it's not just me, so it's me. I have two other owners, uh, a whole team, uh, volunteers, advisors. It's been a, a, a cohesive effort, but uh, it's been insane. You know, we started this on uh, Monday before game one, which was on Thursday. And so it's been a 48-hour turnaround for every single game. It's been all hands on deck, uh, very little sleep, but uh, it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. Oh, very cool. And what's it like, uh, you know, talking about the, you know, ha people from Halifax coming together to cheer on what essentially is a Toronto team, but now feels like a Canadian team. What's that been like? Well, I mean, we, we know that Halifax comes together uh, mm -hmm. to make great things happen. And so we're not surprised about that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Raptors fans who watch, uh, a lot of Raptors fans in Halifax who watch them on TV every game. And so for them to have the chance to come together as a city and, and to feel like they're a part of it, even though they're, you know, hours away, uh, it's just, you know, everyone's just thrilled. Okay, predictions, what do you got? Raptors in six. I've been, you know, I've been saying Raptors in five since game two. And, <laughs> and you know, I trust this team. I think we've done really well throughout the whole series. And I have no doubt we're going to close it out tonight in, in Oakland. I'm with you. All right, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Have fun tonight. Thank you very much. All right, the Raptors mania doesn't just stop at the border. Fred Van Vliet's hometown has its own Jurassic Park, and it's going to be rocking in Rockford, Illinois, tonight for Game 6. Joining us now is Tom McNamara, the mayor of Rockford. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Tell us a little bit about oh, how yeah. Jurassic Park Rockford got started. So, Juan, thanks for having me. Uh, so Jurassic Park Rockford started because uh, we have hometown hero uh, Fred Van Vliet, who came from Rockford, and our local visitor convention bureau decided, hey, let's celebrate him right here in the heart of our city. And uh, we did it uh, just a couple of days ago on Monday, and it was a great success with nearly 4,000 people showing up and had food trucks, live music, and it was just a lot of fun. Can you tell us any uh, hometown stories that we may not have heard yet up here in Toronto? Homestown stories about Fred, I, I would say, you know, I, I keep saying this to folks, but you guys see him as a tough, uh, really smart basketball player, really talented basketball player. We see that too, but uh, we also see him as someone who really cares about the community. So he has helped uh, me personally get into, you know, high schools and talk to teens about teen dating violence and things of that nature. Uh, he's just an incredibly thoughtful, uh, really compassionate young man. So we are fortunate to call him ours. Tom, have you been in touch with his dentist at all? <laughs> no, I haven't. But I, I have a feeling uh, we'll be able to see him soon after they win tonight. That would be so cool. All right, and he's had such an amazing run, obviously, this championship. Is there a message you would like to send him on behalf of his hometown? I would just say, Fred, we love you. We're rooting for you, and let's bring it home tonight. Love it. All right, have so much fun tonight. We'll all be cheering together. Mary, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.